Imagine being able to send tempo and preset and program changes from Ableton Live to anywhere on stage, no matter how far the distance. Hey, this is Will Doggett. Today, I wanna to show you how to do just that using a Play Audio 12 and a MIDI 4 Plus and one ethernet cable. So let's get started. <laughs> So the eventual setup that we're working towards is a Play Audio 12 and a Mini 4 Plus connected with one ethernet cable. Now iConnectivity a couple months ago released an update to their Oracle software that allows you to create a RTP MIDI session uh, between devices incredibly easy. It's so easy to do. Uh, but the thing that that allows you to do is have an interface maybe back at drums with your computer and then take an ethernet cable and run it maybe up front to the guitar player uh, and have have that run into a MIDI 4 Plus and you can connect anything into this guy to send MIDI back and forth. So the possibilities really are endless. Imagine even uh, having your computer at front of house so your sound engineer, she can press play and control things and then using an ethernet cable to run downstage uh, with a MIDI foot controller so that you also have control. Uh, so lots of really cool possibilities. Let me show you how to make this happen at first. Um, even if you're gonna connect just with one ethernet cable, there's a little bit of setup up front. So I'm gonna need a hub and three ethernet cables. And what I wanna do is make sure that I've connected an ethernet cable from the Play Audio 12 uh, into the hub, from the MIDI 4 Plus into the hub, and then from my computer into the hub. So let me make that happen. Okay, so now we've got our Play Audio 12, our MIDI 4 Plus, and my computer connected to our ethernet switch. The other thing I've done is I've connected my Play Audio 12 via USB to my computer. So now I'm gonna open Oracle, um, iConnectivity's control software. I've included a link below where you can download that. Watch how simple this is, it's, it's pretty crazy. I'm gonna click the RTP MIDI Manager button, and up here in the right hand corner you see the Connect button. So I'm gonna hit the Connect button, and this is super easy and straightforward to do. And you see as soon as I do that, I now have a connection between devices over ethernet cables, uh, and you see RTP1 from the Play Audio 12 is now going to RTP1 on the iConnect MIDI. Now I'm almost there. So I'm gonna close Oracle, and I wanna open up the iConfig software, but before I do that, because of the way I'm gonna make this configuration, I'm gonna plug in my MIDI 4 Plus to my computer as well. Now I'm gonna connect my iPad to the MIDI 4 Plus because ultimately I wanna send MIDI from Ableton to my iPad. Now one of my favorite things about this is the connector cable that comes with the 4 Plus, which is gonna keep your iPad charged as well as connected hardwired. So I'm gonna plug that guy in. All right, so with everything connected now, I'm gonna open up iConfig. Again, I've included the link to iConfig uh, in the description as well. And I'm gonna wait for the device selection to pop up. You can see I have both devices connected. Here in a second, I'm gonna disconnect the four plus, but I'm gonna select that and hit okay. Okay, so now I wanna to go to the MIDI port routing section. And what I wanna do is I wanna make sure that MIDI that comes from the ethernet port is going out of USB device jack one into my iPad, super straightforward to do. Think of the left side here, the port section as basically uh, the area where we're receiving MIDI and then where we wanna send it to is in the destination section. So I'm gonna scroll down to ethernet jack one and I wanna make sure that under USB device jack one that I have that enabled. So again, that's gonna take MIDI from Ableton to the Play Audio 12 over ethernet to the four plus uh, through USB device jack one into the iPad. So now that I've made that setting, I'm gonna do save current settings and that's gonna save to device. So now I can close iConfig and then I can disconnect my MIDI four plus from my computer. All right, so now what we have is our Play Audio 12 connected to my computer via USB. I have an ethernet cable, which I'm gonna plug into the back of the Play Audio 12. That's now connected directly to my MIDI four plus and then my iPad is connected to my MIDI 4 Plus using the USB to lightning cable. So I'm gonna open my iPad and the app I'm gonna use this with is Music Sync. Next week, I'm gonna show you how I set this up and how I assign notes, but let me just show you how MIDI gets in now. Okay, so in my Ableton session, I've got a couple just MIDI notes pulled up. And again, next week, we're gonna talk about how to make this uh, happen with our MIDI notes. And these are just assigned to next page. So it's just gonna change to the next page in the app. I'm gonna to go to the MIDI routing section here and make sure that I'm going to Play Audio 12 109, which is our first RTP network port on the Play Audio 12. Now, if you don't see that show up in Ableton Live, what you wanna do is go to Command Comma, go to Link MIDI, this is Live's Preferences. We wanna to go to the Output section 
and you see all these ports for the Play Audio 12. The first port, and really the only port we need to enable for the output here is again USB 109, and we're gonna enable track so that we can send MIDI out of our track through the Play Audio 12. So now, super straightforward, super easy. I can press play. When this cue hits, it's gonna change pages in music stand. And we'll just jump ahead, show you the next one. So it's changing perfectly. And again, the thing I really like about this is this is done all using one ethernet cable and my iPad is charged. So this could work the other way. I could plug a MIDI foot controller into the MIDI 4 Plus, have it go over an ethernet cable into the Play Audio 12, tons and tons of possibilities to make this happen. So to learn more about using iConnectivity gear on stage with Ableton Live, head to fromstudiostage.com slash playback. You'll learn how to set up your Play Audio 12 for redundancy as a normal interface. You'll learn how to interface it with a MIDI 4 Plus and go both ways with MIDI, um, as well as all sorts of things, including how to run tracks really efficiently in a stable way and in a flexible way using Ableton Live. So head to fromstudiostage.com slash playback to check that out. Thanks so much for watching this tutorial and we'll see you guys next week. Take care. Bye-bye.